My name is James Stevenson. I'm a landscape and adventure travel photographer. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at James Stevenson Photography. So this weekend, I'll be spending the night on Gambia Island near my home in Vancouver, Canada. I'm gonna be walking a 10K loop over a peak called Mount Artaban from my campsite, where I'm hoping to get some great views down into the house sound and the islands nearby. Uh, and if I'm far enough away from the city lights, I'm also hoping to get the chance to shoot some star trails in the night sky. I'd like to share with you some details about the equipment I'm taking, how I'm approaching shooting, and some details about post-processing as well. So let's get to it. Unlike its more well-known neighbour, Bowen Island, Gambia is sparsely populated and far less popular with tourists, as there are no cafes or shops or commercial enterprises to attract crowds there. Getting there feels like a mini weekend adventure as well, as you have to charter a private boat to get to the camp area at Halkett Bay. This is the dock at Halkett Bay on Gambia Island. Now I'm on my own. I need to set up my tent and go and explore. So my tent's pitched, the skies are clearing, it looks like it might be a nice day. The bay where I'm staying is gorgeous. If all I get from this weekend is the chance to stay here and see this, then it was worth coming here. It looks like the, the peaks were in the clouds earlier. Um, so I don't know what I'm in for when I get up there, but hopefully it clears and we get a nice view from the top. It's time to get this walk started. This is a reassuring sign. I did some bushwhacking back there before I got myself back on the trail again and found the markers. Uh, so it looks like I'm going in the right direction. So down the ground here looks like the remains of an old lookout post that I read about. Quite overgrown up here now, so you can't really see too much. It's a shame that's not still here. So now I'm almost back at the campsite. The walk to the peak, I really enjoyed the walk today. It just, it didn't give me the chance to take a picture really, because the view from the top was amazing, but it just wasn't that kind of view which made a, good, made a good image. It was a big expanse of water and very distant mountains and clouds. It was also the middle of the day. So I'm hoping that this evening, back at the campsite, I get the chance to take a picture of a sunset and use that view out from where I pitched my tent and see what we end up with. Yeah, unfortunately, by the time I made it back to the campsite, I had lost the light. The sun had disappeared over the mountain behind me and there was just no chance I was gonna get anything good. I really wanted to leave the island with just one picture I was happy with. So the last thing left to try was to wait until nightfall and do my best to capture star trails over the bay. Now, there are a couple of ways you can approach this. I chose to do it by taking 160 individual photos, each at 30 second exposures, and combining these together in Photoshop later to achieve the trails. Thank you. 
I really enjoyed my trip to the island and I hope you'll join me next time as I take you to five of my favorite places to shoot in Vancouver. Thank you for watching. Thank you.